This is not the reaction I was expecting. Welcome to the patch test day. So since I've gotten my skin to a really good place, and just because this is something you should be doing in general with new skincare products that you're adding to your routine, I'm gonna go ahead and do a patch test on my skin, just on this part of my upper lip, just because this is an area where I prominently break out, so we'll see if it does break me out or not. So all I'm gonna do is give this a nice shake, just to make sure everything is nicely mixed together. Perfect. All right, now that it's nice and mixed, I'm gonna take the tiniest amount of this and just apply it to my skin. Do you see what's dripping off the top? Like, I'm hardly even squeezing it. So we're just gonna take that little drop. I've got this little drop right there on my pinky. Oh, also, I do wanna mention that I don't have any product on this part of my lip that we're patch testing. So it's only Sunflower Sweet Serum. This way we can test for any sort of irritation, sensitivity, if it causes breakouts. My skin reacts really quickly, so within 24 hours, I'll be able to know if it does break me out or not. Like, I break out really easily, you guys. So I'll be back tomorrow to update you. Okay, good news. The patch test went well. There were no new breakouts, no irritation, no sensitivity, nothing like that. So we're gonna go ahead and consider this our official day one, and I'm gonna apply two drops to my whole face. But before I do that, I wanna talk about what my main concerns are going into this. Like this right here is my main area of concern and then you can see like the little scars going on over here and then this side too. Those are my main target areas and I wanna see if the Sunflower Sweet Serum will be able to lighten these acne scars more than the Drunk Elephant routine did. The before and afters I've seen in just like one week on Twitter are insane. Like there's such a major difference, so we'll see. So we're just gonna give this a nice shake again. You wanna do this every time that you apply it just to make sure that everything is mixed properly. Okay, now we're gonna take two drops of this onto the back of my hand. I don't want a lot because oils, as you guys know, if you've used them before, a little bit goes a long way. So let's see, one, two, hmm, that might be too little, but just to be safe, we're gonna start with two. Here's what it looks like. It is very runny, so be careful. I'm just gonna tap this onto my face and just blend it out. This is just gonna be more gentle on my skin. And you wanna go in an upwards motion, not tugging down because that'll just sag your skin and prematurely age it. Okay, that was not enough, so I'm gonna go back in with another drop or two. Let's see, let's just do one just to be safe. This has a very earthy, natural scent to it. Like, hmm. Like, imagine being in a garden in your backyard, but it's not like roses or jasmine or like a nice smelling flower. It's just like a very earthy flower. It feels nice on the skin and it applies really smoothly. I'm not a huge fan of the scent, but I'm okay with it because I do know that it's natural. When I first started using Drunk Elephant's Sea Tango, I had the same kind of reaction to it. I was like, ooh, this smells earthy. But then you kind of get used to it. And hey, if it works, that's all that matters, right? Oh, I forgot to mention, there is also acne scarring on the sides of my temples, and my face does get a little bit pinkish reddish, so right now it's pretty even, but just in general, it does get a little bit pink, which is totally normal, but we'll see if this evens out my skin tone even more. This says that you can use it twice a day after you cleanse your face, and it can also be used as a moisturizer, so that means for this week, it's going to be replacing my Drunk Elephant C Ferment and B Hydra and Merule Oil, so wow. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see if this actually works. So I'm going to be applying this at night as well, and I'll be back tomorrow to update you guys. Okay, it's about four hours later, and my skin is burning so bad. It's become a lot more red, and it just feels really hot, like just very heated. It's tingly. It's irritated. This is not how I was expecting this whole thing to go. Like, I need to take this off my face ASAP. I know right now it's a little bit hard to tell how red my face is, only because it's like a little bit too bright in here right now, but I'm gonna insert a clip of my face closer up in better lighting so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Like, do you see this redness going on right here? It's not that bad, like it's not super red, but it hurts, it irritates my skin, it's burning. I was really hoping I would have a better experience with the Sunflower Sweet Serum because it just looked so promising on Twitter, but unfortunately it just was not for me. If you have sensitive acne prone skin like I do, I would say be cautious with this 
because you never know, like my skin is not loving this. And you guys saw I used the tiniest amount of this product and it's causing this sort of a reaction. Imagine if I used more, like no thank you. It is also feeling a bit greasy on my face right now, like it's not comfortable on the skin at all for me. I'm sad that we have to end this here, it's only day one, but it is what it is. I don't want to risk ruining my skin because I've gotten it to such a good place and I don't think this sort of a reaction is normal, so I'm gonna be stopping the use right here. I don't know what to do with the rest of it because it's pretty much untouched, like should I give it away? I don't know. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!